What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, man. We got a lot of stuff to unpack. Unpack. We did a. We had a lot. We had college football start back up. NFL starting back next week. We got some other stuff in the mix. Can't cover it all. I'm gonna cover some of it. Let's go. Alright y'all, yeah, hopefully y'all having a good Labor Day weekend, hopefully y'all have some time off, y'all enjoying yourselves, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, well deserved, summer's supposed to be coming to an end, but we had a weird weather season this year, but we'll see how that go, man, but let's just jump right into it, man, we got NFC, uh, NFC, NCAA football back, you know, college football back, you know what I'm saying, excited for that, excited for just any kind of football to start, man, you know, after the NBA goes away, for me and for a lot of other people, it's, it's, it's the dog days of, of summer and sports and things like that for people that don't watch other other different um kind of sports is going on during that time but it seems like kind of a a slow a slow period but we're going we're, we're getting straight into it you know what i'm saying we got college football back I'm excited to see that we, we you know we two weeks in uh get some interesting stuff happening already some interesting matchups that they they put together and you know uh, i don't think it was going to come out one of them like that like everybody thought it was going to come out but one of them of course we're going to talk about colorado and TCU, TCU, um, the you know pretty much the runners up for the Natty, you know last year. Uh, yeah, they went in there. They went. Uh, Colorado went down with Prime, and uh, they had a barn burner to to put uh just to put some pretense for people that don't know what's going on really. Uh, you know, Dion was uh coaching the HBCU for like two years. You know, um, built his program up. Um, they did pretty good. They did pretty good um, the second year. Then he ended up leaving. Uh, a lot of controversy with that. Was talking about oh he just did this and left and all. No, no. He put he instilled a lot of uh, stuff in that kid, those kids' lives. He put um, the HBCU on the map. He put Jackson State on the map. You know what I'm saying? So um, they uh, um, it's no shame in that problem. You know what I'm saying? And he he'll be up front with you. Yeah, moving on. You know what I'm saying? This is what y'all paying me here. I'm gonna get paid here, but I'm gonna still, you know, I'm gonna have the same impact. But but man, the transfer portal went crazy when he went over there. So he he brought you, you know, not only not only his son over there um, from Jackson State, he brought the the number one recruit in the league at the top um, at, in high school at the time um, that that Dion flipped him from. Uh, dang, what team did he flip him from, y'all? Yeah, say it in the comments if y'all know. What team did he flip him from? But uh, cause I can't I can't remember. But he he he. I don't know if he committed, but he verbally committed to a to a to a college, and and then all of a sudden he's going to Jackson State. Cool. Uh, move on. He take them with him. You know what I'm saying? He go in there. You know. Uh, he tell he tell him, hey, if you ain't with the, he going to Colorado, if you ain't with this program like this, hey, I need you to move on. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. You know. He brought like they they said something crazy. Like out of all those players that that could be on the squad. You talking about up to a hundred, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, in um, in in, in uh, college, uh, like eighty six of them, eighty six of them was new. Eighty six of them, or like 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 a good majority of them were new. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, big mass exodus, and a lot of people coming in, different team. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't see that on the field. So the end of the score was uh, 45, 42, barn burner. You know, a lot of offense, three points, three point difference. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, and I'm gonna go to my notes, man. Let me, let me, let me just. We got let's just, just his son, quarterback, uh, broke the record for most yards, and in, in school history, in school history, 510 yards. Uh, four touch, he had uh, four touchdown, no picks, QBR 90.6. I'm, I'm, I'm liking those numbers. I'm liking those numbers. Um, why would you not like him? Uh, he just had, he just, you know, had it going. That adrenaline was rushing. If you watch the game, it was just like, okay, TCU, okay, show them what they can do because they, we know what they can do this. And it was like, Colorado would just come right back. And it was a time I thought, you know, Colorado might not, 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 not win or, or they, are they going to, they gonna they gonna probably lose gracefully or or whatnot you know like maybe you know make it respectable because they came in like I think twenty point plus oh, um, underdogs you know what I'm saying so 
even a even a, a short loss by three would have been something but you beat them by three you beat them by three somebody that was competing for the natty last year you know what i'm saying and and you know i know people transfer they have but you got the same coaching staff you got people recruiting you 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 just got from a natty people are going to be like in texas gonna be like, i want to go to tcu you know that type of thing you know I, and it's just like it ain't take nothing away from tcu but man that was a that was a bad spot for them to be in uh <laughs> that first that first week but hey you know I just got to recover now, you know what I mean? But um, you know that that that, that was one of the that's one of the um, probably gonna be one of the games of the year uh, that that went down, you know what I mean? And then you know uh, besides like let's go back to uh, Deion Sanders' son, Strudel Sanders. Um, besides the touchdowns, uh, like like on the offense, the rushing game wasn't wasn't all that great. But they, they, you know, they had they had rushing touchdowns. So you, you you get points on the board, you get points on the board. That's where you need them. You know what I'm saying? Dylan Edwards, man, um, freshman, running back, uh, man. I'm talking about he was he was doing it. Um, like he didn't he didn't really have I'll say that much impact yard wise on the ground, but he scored a touchdown on the ground. But in the air, man. Oh my, three three touchdowns. Um, Freshman, it's like uh, you, you killing the game. Even um, he was even on the uh, the uh, you know uh, special team. He fielded one of the um, kickoffs. So it's 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 like man, you know the Colorado. I can't say much, um, enough about them and enough of what Bob Prime is doing in that in that in that area. You know what I'm saying? So you got or in uh, or for that team in an early time, you got the O line. Um, um, he was, you know, people were concerned about that. Um, Prime was vocal about it. They held up. Um, defense held up, even though he, they got 42 scored on, 42 scored on. But the offense was so so dynamic. Um, they won the game. So, it, and hindsight does, doesn't matter. I mean, but they just got to work because you know you are gonna have them 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 teams. You gotta you gotta really go at. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the trenches. And I'm not saying TCU is not one of them. They they ha they are one of them, man. You know they handle their business against them. You know what I'm saying? So, and um, Travis Hunter, man, like Travis Hunter, uh, kid kid play both sides, man. Both sides. I I mean they do that. They do that on some some, but like these these team power, whatever they're gonna call them, power uh, conferences and all the stuff. Teams you never see. Um, like somebody playing two sides. Like I remember Charles Woodson, you know my good one of my goats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, obviously Dion. You you see all these two sided players, but I was like, I was like, man, this, this dude, this dude went out there, and 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 the thing about it was, Dion Prime had a plan. He told that dude, man, stay hydrated. I'm you're not gonna practice the day before. Uh, uh, not 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 the day before, but the I think the Thursday before the game. You're not gonna practice, you know. He out, dude out there trying to still get snaps and stuff like that. You know, it's just just crazy, man. Um, like like the hype is real, you know, um, about this dude, and he was on both sides, you know. And I'm talking about I'm talking about play both sides. Eleven receptions, 119 yards, a touchdown, man. Three tackles, an interception. Um, pass deflection, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's that that's so that's so wild. Now what I want to see um, playing devil's advocate, playing devil's advocate, and um, don't don't say it's hate, don't say it's hate. What what's gonna happen? Um, you know, like when they get tested, when they get face some adversity, they did face adversity this time, this first week. But now, you know, where we going? Where we going with it? You know what I'm saying? Um, how we gonna do? <laughs> What's up, Casey? Yeah, all right. Break time. Yep, you know what it is. Um, son, my son likes to get in the videos with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So he, he trying to he trying to get in where he can fit in, man. Well, um, so we gonna uh, we gonna. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna get we gonna get it in right after this, but 
Um, hey, so he's still he's still playing with the door. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we good now. So, all right. So, um, where was I at with the with the um? Yeah, yeah. So, so real did when they face somebody faced some adversity and they did this week. Um, you gonna have some you going some on and off weeks. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and um, you know. Um, I, I trust in Coach Prime to, to to coach through that. You know what I mean? And 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 this was a, a big confidence booster. It's 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 they set the bar. So now it's like that bar has to keep going up, or I mean, at least stay where where it is. So what are we gonna what are we gonna do? And they don't have a cakewalk schedule. You know what I mean? So they have they have some in betweens, but this schedule I'm looking at it. They got some ranked teams, like not back to back, but it's like ranked team. And I'm not when I say rank teams, I'm like they rank now, but that doesn't to me always mean anything. Um, as far as like anybody can get beat on any given day, but then you got some teams that you expect them to kind of win again, and then you'd run into another another ranked team like real quick. You know what I'm saying? So and they don't have that many, but they they first six six weeks, you know, uh, yeah, they're gonna get tested. So. We'll see, man. How you know, Coach Prime, and and and, and then they, even if they take an L, how they gonna bounce back from that? You know what I'm saying? So, cause right now they on cloud nine. So, you know, I, I see it. I see it. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it was good, man. Let me jump. Let me know what y'all think. You know, let me just ask: Is this, is this sustainable? Like, what do y'all? How many wins y'all think they gonna they gonna get there? But that's that's a question. You know, like to to think about like, how many wins they gonna get in this season? Is this is this is this style of play sustainable? What they just did. Um, very, very incredible, um, you know, performance, and we'll see what what goes on from there, you know. And uh, TCU has got to, you know, bounce back. Uh, I think that I'm pretty sure they will, you know what I'm saying. So it, it was um, very interesting, man. So you know, uh, just just one of them things, man. Uh, we'll we'll see we'll see how it how it goes up. The only thing, I, uh, the other thing I want to address, man, is um, uh, 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 <laughs> Florida State versus LSU. Which was like close for you know like most of the first half a little bit you know it looked like it was gonna be one of them games and it was it was really hopped up to be one of those games and and, and Florida State forty five twenty four against LSU um I'm I'm everybody's like pointing at the coaching for LSU man you know I don't know if it's the talent everybody's pointing pointing at the coaching for LSU and um one one thing with Brian Kelly uh. I'm not saying, I mean, I, I personally don't like him because he was at Notre Dame. So I, I never liked him. I, I don't, I'm not saying he's, he's not a, a good or great coach or whatnot, but um, what do y'all think? Is, is, it, is he overrated or is he, is he, is he, is he going by his name and his, and his, um, where, where he been at? And I don't know, but um, I'll say this, I don't rock with this uh, and I don't know the context. But I'll give one, um, I'll give one, uh, here we go, one statement that, uh, that so he's, get, he's getting backlash for the statements he made after the game. And they said he, from what I gathered, they said he did this at Notre Dame too, like, but, like, you lose to a big, uh, you know, a big game or a ranked team or something, he kind of throws the players under the bus. And these are the dudes you're supposed to lead, but that could be a type of leadership, but, is it is it is it the right one for for LSU or 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 whoever whatever squad you want? But um, you know, uh, quote unquote, we thought we were the two-time defending national champion Georgia Bulldogs. I wouldn't even name their name, even if I'm in a division. I'm like, we think they're two-time defending national champions. Leave it at that. So you acknowledge their name, Georgia Bulldogs, or something. He said, I don't know what we thought. But we were we were mistaken. So I don't know what we thought, but we were mistaken. Uh, we thought we were the two-time defending champions. Okay, um, LSU has always been in a conversation, um, except for a couple of years in recently recent history. But LSU was always up there, especially in the SEC. The SEC, you know, being the division or the conference they are, they are always in the conversation. So for you to say that about your players. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're getting at there. And then, then I seen something else, and it could be hearsay, but he said, he said, you know, this is not the team I thought we were. 
So that could be just a psyche mind type thing, but um, you recruit people, you coach them. I thought we were better. They not like that. I, I, I'm in a, being in a leadership position in the Navy. I would always think if you said something like that to me, or I said something like that to a person, um, off top, I, I don't think I'm trying to make you better. I'm just gonna break you down. But am I gonna build you back up? So that's what um, Brian Kelly um, needs to think about. Is he gonna build them back up? Is this his way of building people back up? He get paid way more money to me to do his job than he do, than I do. But what what are you what are you gonna do about it, man? You know what I'm saying? Um, we're gonna we gonna see how that turns out. But you know, I won't say what it is. It is what it is. But we got we gotta see how that turns out, man. LSU, uh, are you promising to see how see how high they rank? I'm sure they will recover. Um, going forward, uh, Florida State, and it's just, you know, they, 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 they plant their flag. They, they looking good, man. ACC, um, uh, we'll see what, we'll see, we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, all in all, man, just in the comments, you know, let us, let us, let us know what you think, man. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting, um, how everything, uh, pans out. I just think it's, it's week two, you know. Um, stuff is going as, as planned and some stuff is not. <laughs> let's see, let's see how it pan out. That's what's the beauty of college football, you know? So, let's see how it go, man, you know? And that transfer portal is a beast. Well, let's see what, what it do. But anyway, um, moving on, moving on, moving on. And then, you know, wrapping up, you know, I got some unboxings and I like to, um, keep that to the end. And then also, also, um, I keep my clothes, I, whatever, 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 shoes or whatever in the package until I, I get to do this. So we're doing it now, you know, uh, let's see what it do. I'm interested to see what this shirt looked like because I saw it caught my eye. Some of those advertisements on on social media and, and you know, they listen to us and all that stuff and they, and they you know, they know what I, what I like, you know, but um, right now my first impression is from the picture. Didn't look like what I thought it looked like, but then I saw somebody wearing it on social media, um, like a random person, not 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 an advertisement, and, and, it, and it looked decent uh, in the other version. So we'll see what what it do. But right now you see the see. So we, we this is a uh, this is a uh, yep. Uh, I don't know you, whatever clothing that is. There there it is. Um, I don't even want to pronounce it wrong. There you go. Um, see that well, not what the tag but you know uh, the Dodger blue hat let's see I know it's going it's black but I know it's going to be fully black because of the got the, the color they described it in but so right now I'm feeling that I'm feeling that like heavy material kind of shirt stiff you know I don't know if I always like this type but um, I know it's going be durable in the washing machine, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, let me, let me, uh, back clean. So, all right. So, it's one of my goats, man. Um, uh, Kobe, Jelly Jean Bryant, you know, um, with the Dodger hat on, you know, and he was always in, you know, involved in the LA sports, LA teams. Yeah. I'm up there. So, so what off top? I don't. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about is uh, this is like, this is kind of like a different um, layout as far as uh, you know, they print the shirts and they just slap it on there. Uh, this, this kind of blended into the shirt. So that's one thing. I think that's dope. It, it, it low key looks like a mural. You know, um, I like that. Um, this is. This is kind of like, what is this, a stone wash gray, dark gray, charcoal gray, I don't know, charcoal black, but it's not, it's not fully black. But, um, yeah, man, um, I was thinking it's going to look kind of low key out from, from looking at the, the top when it was in there. I thought it was going to look a little, a little, little tiny, little bit blue leg, but, um, we'll see how it lasts in the washing machine. <laughs> but right now, I can see myself um, rocking this, I just got to see how it fit and everything, but uh, yeah.
Uh, money well spent so far. Yep. Uh, cool. So I'll, I'll tell you how. Let me show you the fit or something. Uh, tell you how how I rock out. This is it is it's really it's really stiff though. It's really stiff. Sm smell the bag. <laughs> Just you know they'd be bringing stuff over and they'd be like oh smelling it to you and smell like a pack of cigars or something. But we good. We good. We good. We good right now. Let's, Let's just let's try it out, you know what I mean? And um, yeah. Let me know if y'all y'all interested in one. I, I can point y'all to the right direction. So um last but not least, the other one we got is um Staley. So Staley um sends those boxes out. Um they give you suppose you know, like pretty much suppose supposedly or allegedly <laughs> not I don't want to use that word, but uh they 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 pack they pack stuff in they pack stuff in for you, um, pants socks, um, I got a wash last time, I got a pair of shoes each time, you know um, dress shirt you know whatever your your profile is they send you stuff. Um, I had a, I had a pair of um, kind of like swimming trunk type shorts that didn't fit um, me correctly, so I just I just um, sent that back. Also sent shoes back, but Staley you only sent me back. They only sent me back this so far. I see. So we're gonna see what's in here. I'm assuming y'all not sending me the shoes, or you're gonna send me some 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 other shoes, or y'all just not. And this is what it is. Uh, so we'll see. What what's good about them is I emailed the style profile uh, um, folks, customer service basically, and they they um they respond quick. They respond quick, and they they get at you. So I'm opening it up. Open it up. All right. So, all right. So, all right. So we got these are the same. These are the same joints. Um, I return. Uh, let's see. Regular fit. That's probably the problem. Regular fit. But they get they gave me a forty size forty. Five forty ways, y'all. Um, I need to do something with myself. <laughs> yeah. So, I think this is a good like, cool like if you just want to wear it to the beach. Where to like, yeah, even the beach, like, you want to jump in the water, whatnot, you know, just get, um, uh, go to the pool, like, nothing, you know, like, it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, they, they got the, I love these colors, obviously, because I'm Raider fan, but they got the little black and silver stripes, so it just might, you just probably have to wear a plain back shirt or white tee or something like that, you know, just throw it off a little bit. Um, because you can't just wear, um, and then the actual, I don't know, I was about to say that's the logo, but yeah, so Ben Sherman, you know what I'm saying? Um, those will, I know those will fit, so throw those on like easily, but um, she's just running somewhere real quick. All right, so I got a, you know, I got a shirt extra large. Uh, oops. So, getting short sleeve. Man, you know what? <laughs> I could have wore this yesterday at my um my brother's dinner. Uh but I had something else. Uh but yeah, no. Nah. Dope. I like I like that. Beige, I just gotta see how it fit on me, but it's pretty much a beige um short sleeve collar, um kind of linen material. Linen material, um it's it's uh yeah yeah. The bottom, uh, the bottom has that, like, you know, that classic, um, you know, tail. It's not straight across. It's, it's kind of like a curve. Uh, yeah. It was, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Button up. Yeah, a little button up. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. It's gonna work. I don't know if it's in place of the shoes, but we'll see. But, um, yeah. No, nah, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Let's see how the um if the shoes come through or or are they gonna do the shoes come through or that's that's just me uh, that's just, that's that's what I I gotta sat, be satisfied with but yeah fam um, that's it I know it's been a um a long one you know what I'm saying it's good good seeing y'all again you know what I'm saying hopefully I enjoy y'all every day weekend um hope y'all get some time off get some breath breathing room and all those type of things but anyway uh. 
stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to each other, you know. Long live D Mac, long live Pooh here. Ain't what though.